darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a vow. the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Endless march down memory lane. There's got to be a reason for it. It's got to be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? We could jump him. Hey, you what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Two. Three. Go! <laughs> What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. On. Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. 
Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone! That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you, so she had everything to do with this. <clears throat> Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop, yes, whatever you want. Please, just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll, hey, we'll come find on, a come rocket on. booster. Just everyone oh, I'm loving down, your optimism. Okay? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can make some progress. How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll to teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you thought? could. Is that a yes or no? Suicide. What? Just you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great. Real I helpful. Honestly, don't know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. 
The reality All right, is I got, that no, we we've had our differences, Rory's and I, I'll admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get I my own that? way. Then maybe but try coming to up maximize our chances, okay, here's I'm ready one. to bury that. We don't go. All right. <laughs> you know it's, it's a metaphorical hatchet, Fine. especially because solution, I know I don't really have any hands right now. But I know oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? Yeah, I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you gotta... I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great! Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Abed we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, Princess! They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! 
It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So, when you slapped my ass back there, that was Jack? And here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, <coughs> I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just... Say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good, I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again, how can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. Well, guess what? Frankly, no one knows Hyperion better than Jack. So, you think he'd be helpful? I think we'd be crazy to go in without him. Without who? Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. Ha! As I live and breathe, the fried Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am... Woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racers, but it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble, and being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's... Uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, well, won't you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can... I can shut mine? Scooter, we are going... to space. What?! I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing! Behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. 
Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh no. Jenny's been like that since she heard about some big vault hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Janie, I'm sorry about Athena, but we'd really like your help. Well, I'd like my girlfriend back. Looks to be a rough day for everybody. Athena's not the type to leave just for some random delivery job. She lied, and you covered her ass. I... I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta- I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady? You are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like, just, just wow! Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, 
I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -mm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? <laughs> well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Scanning. Scanning. Uh, careful now. I'm gonna end up psycho Ooh, dinner. Vasquez wasn't that ugly. Disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, flawless! Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! Jumpy! Attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Squat metal buck. Thanks, Dumpy. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's, that's classy. Could've used that little shock around my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. This is a fun night.
Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch, pinch it off. Just pinch it off. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! Said something about a bomb psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, V. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind?
Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. Hey! Hurry it up already! I don't got all day! Ah! Why, why would you do that? Whoa, whoa, sorry. I <laughs> just, I don't know, kind of popped in the old head, and I, 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 thought it, I thought it'd be funny, but obviously I was very, very wrong, uh, so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, I just got to... Scan it for the thing. Yeah. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks, just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah, have fun with that. Just get to the scan screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh god. Oh god. Much worse from this side. Oof. Skin unlocked. <sighs> That's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... big. That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
Tonight